everyone. Welcome to the workshop portion of our meeting tonight. I am going to skip over the president's report and go to superintendent's report. Okay, I will uh, save my report for downstairs. I know we'll have some student representatives tonight and a few different recognitions um, when we have our eight o'clock meeting. Okay, thank you. School business administrator's report. Mr. Hastings. Thank you, Madam President. Try and keep it brief. <laughs> But you guys getting all this extra time, so. Um, I'd just like to uh, remind the board and remind the community uh, that this summer, uh, the USDA is sponsoring continuation of the EBT program. Um, EBT program uh, is a federal program that helps families buy food uh, for school age kids over the summer. Uh, families will receive $120 card for each eligible child to buy groceries over the summer. Um, this is a federal program. Uh, an email went out via Genesis uh, to all our families uh, advising them of the program and I think we've attached a flyer. Um, the uh, email had a link to our website and to an application area. Uh, there were three letters that went out basically. The first letter went out to all our free and reduced families that said you automatically qualify, uh, so you don't need to do anything. Uh, there was a letter that went out to all our paid uh, families that said if you feel like you could be eligible for this program, please log into the site and fill out the forms and, and see if we can get you qualified to receive these cards. And then the third, which is a little trickier, is that we have a group of uh, free and reduced families that don't qualify under our federal program, but the state of New Jersey uh, added some funding to the budget to help qualify at a higher level, a higher income level. Uh, so those families, because this is a federal program, would have to go in and, and fill out the uh, application to see if uh, they could uh, be eligible to receive these cards. So again, the uh, documentation went out by email, so our family should look for those emails. Um, they can go onto our website, they can go on to the school sites and look under food service, and the links are at the bottom of the screen. Um, and then they can take a look at that information, they can reach out to us for any guidance they may need, uh, or any help or assistance in filling out the forms. Um, we would encourage them that if they have any change of address uh, since, since the fall, you know, not notified the schools or notified us that they do so, because what's going to happen is we're going to take all our free and reduced students and upload them to the state system. And then the state from there takes over. So they'll uh, send out the cards, they'll do replacement cards, they'll fund the cards and then do all that part. So basically the school district is making our families aware of these programs. And then once uh, the applications come in, we're going to upload the data uh, to the state. And from there, then the state takes over and sends out the cards. So again, we just encourage people to look for those emails or go onto our website and, and check that out and, and um, you know, take advantage of this program uh, that's available to us. Great, thank you. Is this the first summer the program is running? No, so this was a program that was, uh, was called PEBT, so pandemic. So during the pandemic, this program was funded and they've extended it now to a post pandemic. So if I can ask, um, how do, do families pick up the food? Do they go to the school to get it or? No, it would be a card, a debit card okay. style. Mm -hmm. uh, and they could go to a, a shop, right? Oh, Acme, I see. They go to the you know, whatever store. food oh, okay. store that honors those cards oh, interesting. Uh, and, okay. and uh, use that card to purchase. Okay, very good. Thanks for even an Acme around here anyway. <laughs> well, that's right. You do have an asset closest one. That's in my brain. It's AMP. Is there anything else? Uh, no. Okay, thank you. All right, we'll move on to action items. Mr. McCarthy. Move to approve item 5.1. You're not approving? Move to discuss. <laughs> I have a regular meeting up. My apologies. That's okay. <laughs> Right, any questions on 5.1 from anybody here? 6.1? Only about the, uh, the date for uh, the SEPTA recognition, I think, is still May 8th in, in the minutes. 
Okay. But it, it has been changed, been changed to May 7th. I do have that change. Yes, yeah. I put, but it wouldn't okay. change the minutes because that's what it was then. Okay. So it would just need to be announced, I would think, that it's May 7th. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Okay, we will move on to personnel. No, we won't. Well, just well, I have nothing to say. We have to we'll discuss. We discussed <laughs> in there and we'll do it downstairs. All right. Financial management, Mr. Weinstein. Yeah. Um, for 8.1 to 8.8, .8, we'd like to have a discussion. Is it, Jeff, do you want to talk about anything in the next section? <laughs> just the budget. <laughs> yes, right? Yeah. Just those small items. <laughs> um, so we do have our budget adoption on the agenda this evening. Uh, it's similar. Uh, in that the same resolutions are on there from our tentative adoption, uh, which was uh, about a month ago. Um, we'll have a presentation once we get down and go through the president's and the superintendent's comments and, and some other uh, acknowledgements uh, that we have planned for this evening. Uh, we'll go through that um, and we'll take questions on, on those uh, items. Um, The uh, lunch program to renew Sodexo is on there. And I'd just like to clarify that uh, I think there was a conversation at our last meeting uh, about student prices and student pricing uh, and the increase uh, that was perceived. Uh, but just to clarify, the prices listed in the resolution are the prices that Sodexo charges the district. It's not the price that we charge our students. Uh, so when you calculate the 1% increase based on CPI, that Sodexo is charging us, it's 1% higher than last year's charge to the district. Um, so to clarify, at this point, we are not changing the lunch prices to the student for next year unless we have a discussion to do so. Right, so that'll be on a future agenda where we review pricing uh, for student lunches. Um, can, can, you make sure, can you make sure you say this in um, the regular meeting? Sure. Okay. Yeah, reiterate. I think it would be a good thing too. Because everybody did leave with the impression because we weren't you know, discussing it, right? Wait, can I ask a follow-up sure. question on that? Um, so in that, we're reiterating this, and in that the lunch pricing is not on our agenda right now to discuss, um, which I think the feeling of the board is Probably, I shouldn't say that. My feeling is that if we can keep them where they are, it would be the best case scenario. We don't know that yet because we have to look at it. But the question is, um, do we know, did we budget so far that this 1% 1% increase, we can, will we'll be able to be absorbed by the district if we don't want to uh, raise prices? Or we don't know that yet because you have to look at all that. Right, so Sodexo is renewing at a break-even uh, for the food service uh, program. Uh, so they're guaranteeing that we will not lose money in that program. Okay. Uh, so we will be able to cover the costs of the so, program. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Anything else? No. Okay. Thank you. Anybody have any other questions? Finance? No. All good. right, we'll go on to instruction. Yes, Madam President. Discussion for items 9.1 to 9.3. Any questions, comments? Out of school, professional development for our staff and school field trips. Anything to add? Just the usual. Anybody have any questions? Just discuss. No? Okay. Wow. We are in old business. Is there any old business? Ms. McGovern? Um, I just wanted to mention um, to everybody that, you know, we have been having negotiation meetings um, and we are meeting again this Thursday, um, the ARC team and, and the TOEA's team, and then we have another meeting set up for May 30th. So I just wanted the public to be aware that the conversation is still going on and we will, you know, continue to do the good work. That's it. Okay, anybody else? Any other old business? Okay. Any new business from the board? May 2nd, May 3rd. Just Thursday. Um, on the new business thing, uh, is, it, is everything okay with the um, with the trip the kids took? Yes. Yeah. 
I, I did send a follow-up email. It, yes. yes. Okay. And having a good time and uh, all is well. Good. Okay. Anyone else? All right. At this time, we will um, go to public comment. And Mrs. Conway, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Madam President. Good evening. Uh, there are no virtual commenters at this time. Okay. Is there anyone downstairs that has a public comment? We have one. Did they say yes? He said yeah, we have okay. one. Okay. All right. Go right ahead. Hi. Uh, Alex Hayes from Oakhurst. Good evening. Um, I didn't know if this was going to be the part where you guys are actually going to be answering questions because you said you would be answering questions today, or if that was only going to be at the regular meeting. Are you able to qualify, um, explain that? Mrs. Hayes, we're going to be answering questions during the budget portion of the, um, of the meeting downstairs when we come downstairs. Okay. Figures okay, um, so I just wanted to start off. I'm sure there will be most, uh, or th there will be other people talking about the proposal to eliminate a media specialist. So I'll let those fine people who are here talk about that later. It's ridiculous that we're even thinking of getting rid of a librarian or a media specialist, but I also want to point out that in the previous budget presentations. This board did not put staff reductions on any of the paperwork until now. So to have staff reductions in English, math, media specialists, and I see that's plural, secretarial science and world language. This is incredibly awful for our district. And then to see staffing requests unable to be funded, elementary teacher, SAC counselor, ESL teachers, and ESL instructional coach. Again, that is crazy. The district facing the problems we are facing in academics or and other things is even considering cutting staff. So I hope to hear more information later on. I also would like to commend the amazing staff at OTES. Since the state testing results came out, OTES blew everyone's expectations. Um, I hope you all saw this. They used to have like a 25% rating a couple of years ago. And right now, OTES is at 84 with Wanamasa at 92, Wayside at 71. And the high school and intermediate is not so great at 31 to 38 or so. So kudos to whatever has been going on at OTES. Hope we'll look at that at great length and try to replicate it because it's working out. Um, that's probably all I have right now. Um, hopefully other people will speak out in opposition to some of these staff reductions. I would also like to close by saying Yes, at the last meeting, we did leave by saying that the student prices were going to be going up, but it would have been really nice if you could have responded to us and had told us that the student prices weren't going up, because then we wouldn't have had, as Jeff said, that impression. Thanks. Okay, thank you for your comments. Is there anyone else downstairs that would like to make a comment? I don't believe so. Okay, thank you. All right, everyone, at this time, I'd like a motion to adjourn the workshop. May I please have a second? Second. All right, we'll see you all downstairs.